outside on best man, and clearly couldn't find one. So the three was going to make the two proper brothers in there, two proper brothers instead. Uh, first thing to thank the bridesmaids, who all look absolutely fantastic today. Only our chum by Jenna, who looks truly beautiful. Oh. So it's customary for the best man to give some words of wisdom. Uh, not being married myself, I can't really speak from experience, so I went looking for some happily married couples for some place. Uh, still looking. <laughs> uh, you know. uh, the best I could do with was my, uh, some advice from my dad. Uh, the advice he gave me was, uh, firstly, set some ground rules. Establish that Gemma is the boss. <laughs> Secondly, never be afraid that Gemma will leave you. She spent all this time training him, she's not going to walk away. <laughs> uh, thirdly, never forget those three little words that you need to say every day. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're wrong, be a man and admit it. Sorry. Whenever you're right, say nothing. <laughs> that's basically it's all the advice I've given out. We've had lived by very simple, uh, very simple rules, so I think that's a good, uh, good advice. Um, as well as advice from my dad, uh, I also had some very strict ground rules from my uh, from my mum about what we can say. Uh, all the complications of being both a brother and a best man. No embarrassing tales, no ex-girlfriend tales, and try and tell some nice happy stories. Uh, unfortunately, this is a problem. Most of the tales I had and the original um, speech was written around tales of ex-girlfriends. A particular favourite of mine was one ex throwing a glass of wine over an old boss's wife. Um, but I can't bear some very given the very strict grounds that the was giving me. Um, I have been encouraged though to recall a holiday tale uh, and an incident in Spain springs to us, springs to mind. Uh, a lot of sangria was consumed that evening, uh, and then all the family made it back to the apartment, a little worse for work. Uh, Paul, at the time, and still today, they always has an ability to look sober, despite being incredibly drunk. <laughs> Paul's state deteriorated though from the moment we got back in the apartment. Paul was simultaneously ill, managed to perform a somersault, redecorate a whitewashed wall, and smash a bed into several pieces. <laughs> Dad was obviously not too, not too pleased, especially as the apartment was a family friends. <laughs> Paul was due to frog marks to be unceremoniously cold shower down in an attempt to clean and soak him up. Upon escaping with Dad's grip, still clothed, dripping in icy water, Paul told Mark and myself he was going out to, in his words, get the chicks. <laughs> So that's a nice fucking tale, No? Paul also told me to tell you all he displayed a real sport for prowess in his youth. A member of Liverpool, now he's running club. Uh, practiced the martial arts Aikido, and was also a key footballer. Paul was a tough, competitive defender with an eye for gold. Unfortunately, the goal was used on his own. <laughs> we as in broke Jamie Carragher's own, own goal records in Liverpool at under 14 levels, but that is unfortunately not unfair. I can still remember when you pulled Mark down to the local pub Sunday league team at World Records. What I can remember even more clearly was him smashing into a thunderous 50 50 tackle on the halfway line and doing it back in. The ball scoring into the net from 45 yards out. Unfortunately, he was past his own keeper. <laughs> Most footballers dream of scoring from the halfway line. Not many actually achieve it. Few still managed to do it past their own keeper. Uh, at the time, he was described as having the looks of Zidane, which I think if you look at him, he, he does look his fit. Unfortunately, I think he was also compared with uh, Kilbar for his touch. Probably a fair assessment, really, it was, uh, it was a bit. Uh, Paul always had an eye for the ladies. <laughs> I think he lived at a young age, probably about seven, got the benefits of being in a band. Um, it's Shake and Stevens inspired bands, Dead and Dreams, never did a bad thing in The double Dead and Inspired look did, however, with the affections of a girl down the street, Sarah Bennett, I'm sure it's no coincidence that Paul kept the keyboard and, and later went on to become a very good guitarist, all purely for the. Well, the music, I'm sure. <laughs> I think also looking at Paul, 
he could stay stuck on that bed to take care of his appearance. So, uh, I think over to his life, he must have spent years in the bathroom. And I was therefore quite surprised to see a Facebook status of his a few weeks ago asking where all the real men had gone. <laughs> Also wanted to leave the car holding your phone at the uh, holding your phone at the time. Not really too sure. Uh, just a list some of the beauty uh, beauty treatments that Paul's uh, <laughs> these, are, these are just the ones I'm aware of. Sun beds, yeah. fake tan, yeah. uh, shaving bags. Not the minutes just in the past. Shaving chest, using toner. I don't even know what toner is. Moisturizer, tinted moisturizer, teeth whitening, and a B, S, and C, whatever. Uh, I think a couple, probably also a couple of other marks here, I think for my hair colour, I think it's a probably fair to say, hair dye, possibly a hair transplant. <laughs> Here I'm being joking aside, uh, I'm really happy and proud to be here today with Mark, what I call quite good man. Uh, if ever a couple were made for each other, it's all the Both friendly, both scatty, <laughs> genuinely kind, lovely people who compliment each other together. Moving forward into married life, Paul, you're very lucky. You're here today again with a partner who is beautiful, loving, caring, and kind. Gemma, you're very lucky too. <laughs> You're going to leave here today with a beautiful dress, some flowers. <laughs> one of the best man duties to one side. This has been a special couple of years for me personally. Well, my mom's wife Debbie into the Jones family. And of course, the introduction of my nephew Hayden. You may hear singing in the background. <laughs> and also my daughter Alice into the world. It's great to be able to welcome such a lovely person to Jeremy into the family too. Uh, and all I can say is you two better get ready for some babysitters. Uh, so Paul, it's a real honour for me and Mark to be your best man here today. Best man, Paul. Uh, your friend as much as a brother. He will be loads. And Jeremy is so happy to see you both so happy today. So, ladies and gents, it gives me great pleasure to invite to stand, raise glasses to toast Paul and Jeremy. For you, Mr. Mr. Jeremy. Wishing you all the good in the world and very well happy marriage. Thank you.